Hello, hello, and welcome back to Fueled by Insanity. I just finished a bowl of cereal. I thought about eating it during the recording, but decided against it. I thought you should know that. <laughs> Darren rolls his eyes, and when I ask, <clears throat> uh, when I ask, though his annoyance doesn't last for long. Knife you old. Old? Yeah. I wait for him to explain further, but he doesn't. How do you feel old? You're younger than me. Darren lets out a deep sigh when I say that, which makes me wonder if maybe I've said or done something wrong. Don't worry about it. Just thinking sometimes. Thinking about what? Stuff. He's really not being helpful here. How am I supposed to know what's wrong and how to help him if he won't tell me? Look, you're the one who's who tells me all the time to be more honest and talk to people if something's wrong. You can't expect me to do that if you won't either. He pauses, and I assume he must be contemplating what I've said. I'm growing up too fast. Again, you're younger than me. Certainly don't feel like it. Huh? Darren shakes his head, closing his eyes and resting his head all the way back against the chair. You changed after mom died. What? What does my mom's death have to do with anything? Darren sits back, uh, sits back up and stares at me, as if he's looking to find something. It feels uncomfortable, as if he's not even looking at me, but rather looking through me. I'd, I know it was rough on you. You two were so close. Anyone in their position would you know, would have shut down, uh, shut down the way you did. <clears throat> uh, that's why I tried to be there for you. You kept saying you were afraid of being alone, so I made sure you weren't. I'm just glad Dad gave me this house so you could stay with me. Right. That year sucked. Mom passed away only a month after what happened to Parker and Caleb. I had just got back home from spending the night at Darren's. We stayed up all night playing some new shooter game that he got. I got into an argument with him before he kept dying at the same spot and we kept having to retry the mission over and over. He said it was my fault because I wasn't covering him or something like that. I took the bus home in the morning instead of waiting on Mom to pick me up because I was in a bad mood and didn't want to stay at Darren's any longer than I already had to. When I got home, Mom was sitting in her chair and her head back. She looked like she was sleeping. I figured maybe she was uh, taking a nap. She did have a long day at work a couple days ago, after all. I went to my room and put my stuff away and changed my clothes. I stayed there a couple hours because I didn't want to talk to anyone. At lunchtime, I left my room. I thought Mom would have would have lunch ready, but she was still in her chair. They said it was a heart attack. I still can't believe it took me two hours to realize my mo my own mom was dead. I was already paranoid about things things after what happened to my friends, and so my mom passing away, I just broke, I guess. I want to make it clear that I don't blame you for needing help. Miss getting the st getting to still be the younger brother, though. Feels like I have overtaken uh, as our parents and or as your parent instead. Gotta make sure you take care of yourself, otherwise you won't. You don't have to. I know. But I don't want you to go missing for another month again. I already lost my mom. Don't want to lose my half brother too. I'm not sure how to respond. I guess he was, uh, he has been doing a lot for me, more than I give him credit for. Kajerdu was right. Maybe I was taking advantage of Darren. He's never said anything until now, so I assumed everything was fine. Anyway, change the topic. Huh? I invited Sheen over. I didn't know what time he'd, he's getting here. Figured since I missed out on the arcade, I'd hang out today. Haven't got to in a while. Probably gonna play some games or something. You're welcome to join in, too. I made the right decision. Oh, uh, sure. That sounds fun. 
imagine going with Ted. (laughs) After a couple hours of watching reruns of an old reality show on TV, my ears are met with the sound of knocking. That's probably him. Uh, I've got it. Darren makes, uh, makes his way over to the door. Meanwhile, I'm focused on the show. Right, Uh, Jimmy's a wild card. He needs to vote off Sarah, otherwise the Alliance is going to win. My attention drifts as I hear a voice from outside I wasn't expecting. Yeah, I got the day off, so I asked Sheen if I could come, too. Oh, okay. Tracy, I thought only Sheen was coming over. Yeah, that's fine. Come on in. Hey. Uh, Hey, Jeffers. Huh. Uh, hi. I thought I was- I thought it was just Sheen coming over. Tracy got the day off, so I invited her. I grumble to myself upon hearing that, though thankfully nobody seems to notice. <laughs> he that- Why does everyone have to make plans without me ask- without asking me? And why does those plans have to keep changing? Speaking of which, uh, there's the movie that came out last week that me and Tracy were wanting to go see. Did you guys want to go with us? Movie? Which one? Wishing Star. It's the one with... Rodgers. I have no clue what this movie is, or who this Rodgers is. I haven't heard of it. What about? Uh, what's it about? It's about a group of hikers who got caught in a blizzard on their way down from the summit of Mount Ma- Malora. No, that one. I've seen the commercials. Isn't it based on a true story? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I've uh, not seen it yet, but it looks really good. Sure, we'll go. It didn't have any plans aside from hanging out. Wait, we were supposed to hang out here. Just me, Darren, and Jean. I don't want to go to the movies. Why not? Why not? It's fun to go to the theater. It's empty if it's a movie that literally no one cares about. And it's crowded and full of children because... When I go see a popular movie, it is always a children's film. And it is always annoying. That's why I like to go at weird times. Is it okay if we just stay here? I don't... I didn't know we were going elsewhere. Oh, I'm fine with whatever with whatever happens. Like, I didn't want to show up to your house and... Come on, Jeffers. It'll be fun. Oh, great. I don't want to say no to Sheen. I don't, I don't want him to think I don't want to hang out, because I do. It's just... I... Uh, you're coming with us. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I've n- I've not been to the movies in years. It'd be good if you went too. <laughs> so because you, yeah, you've not been in a long time. I have to go. Come on, Jeffs. We're n- we're not that bad to be around, are we? Oh no, not that line. We've we've all al- we've always used that line on each other to try to get our way. Well, when you put it that way, I guess I have to. Admittedly, I do feel a little embarrassed that I'm making this more complicated than it has to be. I do want to spend time with my friends. I just really dislike plans changing this rapidly. I wasn't expecting Ted to go off with Marshall this early. No, oh, excuse me. I don't I don't know why this is bothering me. Why this stuff bothers me, right? It just does. Good. Uh, Cuz we should probably be leaving. Right about now, if we want to get there in time. Oh, yeah, it starts pretty soon, huh? So, whose car are we taking? I'll drive. I don't think uh, Jeffrey's ridden with me since I got my license. Oh, yeah, you did get that, didn't you? I thought you were afraid to learn to drive. I was, but Marshall told me to get, uh, talk me into it. I needed to be able to get around to get to get to my job. So, he gave me lessons. I never knew you were afraid of driving. 
Aren't most people? I wasn't. <laughs> I was just lazy about it. <laughs> like, I, I got my license right after high school because I was just like, man, I'm too lazy to go take the test, right? I'm just, I'm just lazy. <laughs> uh, and then, like, I just, you, you do it and you know, just don't worry about it anymore. Not me. I would love driving. That's because you're a crazy person. I mean, I like driving, too. I like driving at night, actually. I think driving at night is so pleasant. But fuck you. No, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Didn't they just say we were we need to be leaving soon? Why are they still standing around talking? Go to the door. Like, was when if if so, if that yes. Yes. When it, when this happens, you just walk to the door. You start just leaving without everyone. And they will follow. Like the sheep they are. How was your driving test, anyway? I passed. Well, well, yeah. Well, yeah, I figured that since you got your license. Oh, right. It wasn't that bad, actually. The lady there was really nice. I did fail the parallel parking part of it. But she said it didn't matter. Guy I had was an asshole. I kept yelling and saying I almost flipped us because I went seven, uh, 45 in a 40 zone. Still passed, so it's whatever. Oh man, yeah. I remember you telling me about that. Didn't he spend the entire driving test berating you or something like that? Yep. We still aren't leaving. I thought we had to leave so we didn't miss the movie. Maybe I should say something. Didn't you guys say that we needed to head out soon? Shouldn't we be doing that? Well, we'll still be there early if we leave now, but I'm liable to get lost on the way, so early's always good. In that case, I'll get some money before we go. Jeffrey, you may want to bring your phone. Good habit to get into. Oh, right. Good idea. I step into my room, happy to have a little time alone before I have to head out. On one hand, spending time with my friends is fun, and I've missed this. Even if the trip to the arcade didn't end up quite as I expected, I still enjoyed myself, so I'm sure I will with this trip as well. On the other hand, sometimes it's nice to have a day off here and there for socializing. Then again, maybe I'm only feeling that feeling like that because not even my dreams have... Um, have been an escape from reality lately. If anything, they're making me they're making me feel uh, mentally drained. Sure, I and uh, the ending of last night of last night's dream wasn't so wasn't bad. I can't this sentence. This sentence is hurting me. There's nothing special about it. There are two commas though and three periods. But still. I go ahead and grab my phone and place it in my pocket, not wanting to hold everyone else up for so for too long. Oh, oh, it's the red seating. Okay, okay. <laughs> what color are your theaters, everyone? Does does use the my my small uh, local theater, which I haven't been in in years. Like I have a theater in my town. It only has like four screens. But because of that, they only get, like, the big movie, like, whatever is, like, the, the biggest movies right now. So, options limited. So, I tend to not go there, but they have, like, everything's where the curtains are red, like, the um, the chairs are red, the carpet is red, whatever, right? But the theater I go to more regularly, like, everything is, like, dark blue and black, and I'm, like... Interesting. Interesting color palettes. Why not, um... I haven't seen a green theater yet, where, like, the cushions are green and, like, the carpet's green and stuff. I, it's always, like, either blue or red. And, like, where where's my RGB? I want three theaters in a town. One be red, one be blue, and one be green, right? It's nice. By the time we get to the uh, theater, it's surprisingly empty. We take some of the seats in the middle, Darren takes the seat on my right, and to my left is Sheen and Tracy on the other side of him. 
Oh, you don't want to be boxed in by by both uh, Sheen and Darren? Like, those are two cute lads. And another few people scattered here and there. Is it usually this empty? It must be a slow day. There were a lot of people outside. I think most of them are here to see that new superhero movie that came out. Wouldn't mind seeing it, too. I've seen the commercials. Looks funny. Darren, please. Main character's a dog, right? Yeah. We could always come back again this weekend if you want. Yeah, could be fun. Wow, you haven't been to the theater in years and you'll go twice in one week. Darren's living the high life. You okay with that, Jeffrey? No. Sure. Fuck. Why can't I just say no? I let out a small sigh and closed my eyes, frustrated with how my own mind is working right now. And what do you have? I, I'm, I don't understand. It's This is free entertainment. You get to go. You get to do the thing. Sit in the theater. Quiet, for the most part. And, like, watch movie. Normally, I'd be fine with the movies. But right now, I'm not feeling very social. I don't want to say no to their offer, however, because I don't want to disappoint them. I actually don't want to deal with Darren lecturing me about why I should get out more. It's a dumb situation to be in. Agreeing to go to the movies again this weekend is giving me anxiety. But turning the, uh, the offer down would also give me anxiety. At least Saturday is still a few days away. Maybe I'll be in a better mood by then. The others continue talk yeah, talking amongst themselves. Though I tune in, at, tune tune it out right now. That's right. Uh, it's I've got more important things on my mind, such as why the fuck is this popcorn so good? It's just popcorn, lad. It's just popcorn, and theater popcorn sucks. I always buy it though. Actually, I really liked how the the theater I usually went to they had a little promotion thing where like if you you if you showed them your vaccination card, you got a free popcorn. And I was like, I'm taking advantage of this. Sheen laughs upon hearing my comment. That's probably because you didn't pay for it. I finished my next mouthful of popcorn before responding. I mean, you're not wrong there, but of course I'm not wrong. I know you too well. Yeah, but... Don't forget to thank him for buying it for you. I already did. Prove it. Prove it? What? Prove that you thanked him. How... How am I supposed to prove that I thanked him? You tell me. I'm starting to get frustrated with Darren for hounding me about this when I don't even know what he's expecting from me. But then I hear him laugh. Relax, I'm just messing with you. Sorry if it was a bad joke. <laughs> I feel embarrassed for actually getting mad when he was just messing around, though I can be though it can be hard to tell with him sometimes. So to deal with my embarrassment, I do the reasonable thing and toss a piece of popcorn at his muzzle. <laughs> hey, what was that for? Nothing. What happened? I missed it. He threw popcorn at me. Yeah, it's a present. You can't say I never <laughs> I never give you anything. I stick my tongue out at him when suddenly I um, notice him smirk. Ooh, what's that smirk for? Suddenly I feel something light hit me on the back of my head. Did Sheen just... I turn around to face Sheen only to see him I'm pointing frantically at Tracy. <laughs> Meanwhile, Darren's, Darren's trying to hold himself back from laughing. Sheen, why? That wasn't me. That was Tracy. Uh, I'm sitting over here minding my own business, and you reached into my bag of popcorn and threw it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You both should have done it. You're just saying that because I got you first. Of course. I grab another piece of popcorn and tuck it and turn back towards Darren, I'm fully aware of the not-too-subtle smirk on my face. I hold a piece of popcorn up, and if I'm about to throw it at him, hoping for him to react in some way, but he doesn't. He just stares at the popcorn, as if forcing it, focusing on it with intent and catching it in his mouth. Well, if he's going to play that way... 
defying his expectations, I toss the popcorn the other way without looking at where I'm tossing, uh, hoping to hit Sheen. Apparently it does, because I um, earn another laugh from my half-brother. I turn towards Sheen to uh, find his ear, his ear standing up, and seemingly aware that I would dare throw something at him. Don't give me that look. You threw it at me first. I just got you back. I told you, I didn't throw it! Yeah, that was Tracy. I look past Sheen and notice Tracy covering her mouth with her hand and trying to hide her laughter. Oh, you sneaky devil. Come on, I had to. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll end the part here. Next time we'll see the movie with them, right? I hope they just have an entire film script that I have to read. Wouldn't that be silly? That'd be fun. I'll see you around, everyone.